I'm going to show you in this video right now four different ways that you can find stocks that are going to be tradable without going to stock twits reddit or none of that you will be able to find these stocks and you will be able to do your research your chart analysis and make your own decision whether or not you should buy it or sell it remember you do not want to be a sheep in this market full of sharks so first if you don't have a broker or maybe you're on Robinhood get off of Robinhood right away no reason to be on Robinhood that app is trash it's been nothing but problems and headaches for retail traders and experienced traders alike the interface may be easy to use but they are constantly having issues if you have to trade on your phone maybe look into Fidelity or Weeble and I have a link down in the description below for Weeble it is an affiliate link if you sign up for it we both get some free stocks so when you log into Weeble you'll probably be in your main page when you first get started and it'll show you your money and all of that if you go to markets you'll be able to see the Dow the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq you can click on either one of these to show which one it is on the chart you'll also see the hot ETFs and then if you go to the bottom here you'll see most active so you can see sundial had the most volume and you can see what the price was in after hours OCGN IBIO ACST and Apple scroll down some more you can look at the top losers and look at them in several different time frames scroll down some more you have top gainers so you can see top gainer on the day for Friday IHT of 43% last price 350 you can change that 52 week the top gainer Mara and GameStop so you don't need to follow people on the internet to try to find these stocks you can find them yourself and the best thing to do is find them before reddit and stock twits and all of social media have found them because once they find them and it's all over social media the stock could go up or down at any time because the heavy amount of volume the amount of people trading the stock in one day now we're still on this one page of Weeble in the markets and you can see you got net inflow along with some other things and then you can see best performing industries so uranium for the one day was the best performing industry we click on three month paper and forest products 24 percent uranium 24 percent so both of those are the hottest performing industries right now and that makes perfect sense paper products and forest products trees lumber is expensive as hell right now so of course those stocks are going to be going up now if you trade cryptos you also have a crypto tab up here and you can see some of the cryptos that are on Weeble available to trade and yes Dogecoin is on Weeble now you can click on global and you can see the entire markets all around the world how they're performing now if you actually pull up a stock it's going to give you this screen where you see the chart well you'll have your quotes which will have time and sales but if you scroll to about mid screen right below the chart there's a lot more information that you can find right here you have news you have comments this is going to be your threads where you can see people are talking crazy that's what you want to stay away from you don't really need to be in the comments look at analysts you can see analyst ratings you can see analyst price targets you can find the shares outstanding for that company so you can get an idea of the float if you go to press releases you'll be able to see if something pays dividends this stock here has almost a three percent dividend yield annual dividend 528 you can see the insider activity as well you go to financials you can get your earnings per share your earnings alert multiple key indicators that you can take a look at earnings forecast their income statement my favorite thing to look at total revenue to see how much money they're actually making and then their balance sheet the information that i find the most important so total assets for this company 1.77 billion and total liabilities 243 million that's a nice company in the peer comparison you can click on one of these and you can see a whole list of stocks that are peers to that company so stocks that are similar to that and you can go through there and check out chart patterns and all that information so Weeble is a great resource if you're more swing trading or long-term trading a free online site that you can use as a resource finviz.com finviz.com and you can see right on their front page as soon as you go here it's going to show you the top gainers on the day 
and the top losers on the day. And right there at the top of the list, what do we have? IHT, that 43% gainer stock that we saw on Weeble. A whole ton of different places you can check out for information. You can see they've got cryptos all the way to stocks. If you go to the screener, you can actually screen for about anything you're looking for. If you're looking for a stock with a nice dividend yield, a high dividend yield, over 10% we could put that in. Now you are going to get a ton of ads on this because it is free, but they do have a way you can sign up and pay for this if you really wanted to, but it is just easy to use it free. You can see IPO dates, anything. I mean, pretty much anything you want to look for, they have it on FinBiz, so this can be a good free resource that you can use no matter what app you're trading on. The next one we have TradingView. TradingView.com is great for charting. But you can also find those top gainers on the front page here as well and losers. And they have a lot of resources too. Screeners on this one. You even have crypto screeners on TradingView. But you see whatever you want to put in there to try to find. You put it in there. You click on the stock. You'll get this little pop-up screen here which will get you some nice information to the volume. All of that dividend yields, earning, income statement, performance, technicals. They have a little technical gauge button of whether you buy or sell I wouldn't follow this that much I would give it little thought because you don't really know who's behind this and what information they're exactly going through you go to the charts you can see on the charts where I've been actively trading and these charts are pretty nice and have all the indicators and everything you could possibly want and you can bring up financials and things like that there as well so another great resource is TradingView if you haven't chosen a broker yet and you decide that you want to be day trading so if you're day trading you really don't want to use Weeble or any type of the phone apps then I recommend you get Thinkorswim E-Trade I've heard is really good too but Thinkorswim is going to have everything all in one you're charting you're buying you're selling all of that and I do have a video of how to set up your Thinkorswim right here on the side you can see that we have these watch lists and this is if I click on this and go to top 10 top 10 percent Nasdaq gainers so this will automatically show if you push percentage change what the top gainers were for that day in real time while you're trading you can also make your own scanner like this one this is a volume and momentum scanner there's a lot of different resources within this that you can use Market Watch will show you a whole bunch of stocks like Google, Apple, all this to kind of give you an idea and it's color coordinated green and red to see which of these big stocks are moving and kind of which way the market's moving. Now you do have scanners. These are live scanners. You can put your own price range of the stocks that you want to trade in here all the way down to the lowest if you're in the OTC markets all the way up to the highest price largest cap stocks if you want to do that same thing you can add as much volume or as little volume and all of these other options so thinkorswim is definitely a good one but if you're looking at this chart right now on IHT and you're wondering why it went on this big rip like this then you need to get into the day trading lessons and get to studying we cover all types of different areas of stock trading and especially day trading stocks where you get these big massive rips and it's all right here on YouTube.